at that, man. We are we are just riding it out on two wheels, going right back up onto the pod. Nothing can stop us. What's going to stop us, huh? Hello and welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Two Can Plays Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. And today we're going to be playing as the original Monster Mutt. This is a viewer request. Oh, wow, that was a total late first start. This is a viewer request from Monster Truck Tyler. And Monster Truck Tyler uh, requested Monster Mutt because his dog recently passed. And I feel so bad for for him because I know what it's like to have a, a special furry member of your family that passes and we've lost a, a couple of dogs over the years so uh, my heart goes out to you Tyler uh, here is your request if you guys have a request that you want to see oh no <laughs> then please leave a comment let me know what truck you want to see me drive as and I'll be glad to fulfill your request but for now, I'm gonna beat these guys. Come on, let's go. So we've got Monster Mutt Husky in the lead. No turn sharp. There we go. And we've got Northern Nightmare. We've got Higher Education. And is that, that looks like Rottweiler. We've got Monster Mutt Rottweiler here. Dude, lots of Monster Mutts in this race. And I am in fifth place. There's only one person behind me. I don't even know who it is. Who is behind me? They're way behind. But we're gonna catch up to everybody else. We're gonna, we've got the straightaway coming up here. We're gonna catch up. Oh! <laughs> Higher education is playing unfair. They're playing some dirty ball over there. We're going to go over the dune. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Land it. Nice. Landed right on top of Husky. Oh, speaking of. No. <laughs> no, no cartwheels. No cartwheels. Oh, and I didn't even get the waypoint. There we go. Okay. We, we've moved up two spots. Okay. We've got Husky and we've got higher education up here. We're going to catch up to them, too. Uh, <laughs> this is a... Whoa! This is Doom Dash, and it is it is one of the harder waypoint maps. For sure. Uh, especially because I seem to be... Oh, I'm in sixth place! How did I get into sixth place? And it's Poodle! Poodle is in the back! How am I losing to Poodle? I'm such... <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job right now. Uh, hmm. No! No, back it up. Back it up. All right, I almost want to restart, but I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Maybe we'll do this one again at the end of the episode because I feel so bad for Tyler. I'm not performing all that well with Monster Mud here, Ugh. especially with this race with so many other Monster Muds. I'm like the uh, I'm supposed to be the leader of the pack and I'm the uh, oh, I'm so far behind everybody else. Uh, gosh. Uh, well. I guess, I guess that's all she wrote, because by the time we get to this point in the race, it's it's pretty much over. I am so far behind, and it all started, I mean, I was doing so well up until the point where we landed on Husky. I think this is a little bit of karma, because I landed on Husky, and the game says, how dare you play dirty? We're going to ruin the rest of the match for you. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. All right, here we go. We're coming up on the last waypoint, and I am so far behind everybody else. Wah, wah. Hi, guys. Here I am. <laughs> All right, but for now, we're going to head to Salt Lake City to do a head-to-head. -head. And today, I decided that we're going to try and do the extended courses. So you can do the, uh, the official length, which is only one lap. You can do normal, which is three, or the extended, which is five laps. This is all in quick play. And you go into quick play, there's a little menu that will let you choose the, uh, the, the length of the race. And so that's what we're doing. We're doing an extended race, five laps. Go, perfect start, nice. So we've got five laps to show that we are the top dog. <laughs> and our first contender is going to be Octonator. Let's see if we can actually lap him. <laughs> That'll be the challenge today, is to lap Octonator. I don't know if I can, because I'm drawing some pretty wide. No! <laughs> Come on, get back up, get back up, reset, reset. Oh man, he lapped me! He lapped me! That is just pitiful. Oh no! Can I can I save this at all or is this over? We got one more lap to go. I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh so sad. Okay, let's let's restart this. <laughs> Okay, this time mental note, don't take the turns too sharp. 
Three, two, one, go! Perfect start! Let's go! Come on! All right, all right. Not too sharp, not too sharp. I can turn, but it's not like NASCAR where you can just hold down the left button or the left stick. If you hold it down, you end up going too sharp of a turn and you end up on your side like last time. Here we go. All right, all right. We're doing all right this time. We're doing better than last time for sure. Just a big circle. Don't hit the crush car. If I hit the crush car, I end up on my side too. We're catching up to him. We're catching up. We got one more lap to go. Come on. We got this. We got this. I think this is it though. Yeah. Oh no, one more. One more. Final lap. I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lap him, but we are right on his tail. We're breathing down his neck for sure. Got it. Nice. First place against Octonator. We got you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am the best monster mud driver there is. <laughs> All right. Octonator is out of the way. Who do we got next? We've got El Toro Loco. And on the other side of the bracket, we've got Stone Crusher and Crush Station. Lots of crushing going on over on the right side of the bracket. I think it's probably going to be Stone Crusher in the finals. Let's find out, shall we? I can hear the El Toro music playing in my head, you know. <laughs> yeah, the copyrighted music that I will get a strike for. <laughs> I'm not going to play. And there's Monster. I can hear the monster. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> yeah, not going to play that one either. I can sing it, but I can't play it. Three, two, one, and go. Perfect start. Come on, let's go. All right, come on, El Toro Loco. It's the bull versus the dog. Did I ever tell you guys the story about how I was out walking my dog and we were out in the uh, the desert? I lived in, in Nevada for a while and we were out in the desert and it was all open range and it was, uh, there was a lot of steer, uh, bulls, cows with big horns out in the, the, the desert, in the, in the desert. And I had my dog with me, it was a husky. No! <laughs> yeah, I had my, my husky with me. Come on, get up, husky. No, you're not a husky, you're just a monster mutt. Anyway, I had my husky with me and, and the bull started charging at us. And my dog went one way and I went the other. <laughs> and and the dog, I swear, I thought he was gonna rip my arm off because my le the leash was still attached. <laughs> and, yeah, pchoom, took my arm right with him. Yeah, I didn't rip my arm off for sure, for real, but uh, I felt like it was going to. <laughs> Fortunately, the bull charged the dog and not me. And uh, yeah, I came out of it unscathed. And it was Stone Crusher in the finals, but El Toro Loco, the bull, chased down El, uh, Stone Crusher and managed to chase him off. <sighs> Man, okay, I'm not sure if I like the five laps, to be quite honest. We're gonna try it again later on. But for now, let's continue with Salt Lake City. Two wheel skills here in Salt Lake City with Monster Mutt. Man, I tell you what, Chris Kohler is kicking butt and taking names with Monster Mutt this season. I have really enjoyed watching him driving Monster Mutt this year. He is he is one of the best drivers. Does his dad proud. We're gonna get a nice big air sky wheelie. Landed in a stoppy and a moonwalk, bringing it back. That was a nice six times combo. Let's get a donut. Can we get it in there quick? No, we cannot. We'll start our next combo attempt with a nice little donut cyclone combo. Very cool. Come on, let's come over here. We'll get up and oh, I was going to try, try and go for another one of those moonwalks, but it didn't quite work out in my favor. So we ended up, oh, there's that moonwalk. It, it happened on my, my second, my third rather moonwalk attempt there we go now that's some two wheel skills right there back up onto the pod and we're coming down off of it very very cool now that is a stopping don't fall don't fall <laughs> look at that man we are we are just riding it out on two wheels going right back up onto the pod nothing can stop us what's gonna stop us huh oh no no back it up back it up no <laughs> oh, there we go. That ended it. Well, we've still got, uh, we've got some time left, you know. <laughs> Whoa! Almost a front flip there. That was kind of cool, actually. First place, baby. You know it. You know it. You know, I tell you what, if my Steel Titans driving skills could translate into real life, I might actually give Chris Kohler a run for his money. <laughs> All right, come on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go! We got some freestyle action here in Salt Lake City with Monster Mutt. We'll start things off with a nice big air. Oh no! 
<laughs> well, it was a nice big air front flip or back flip rather, but then uh, landed it and didn't quite finish the job. Whoa, nice stoppy onto the pod. Let's come on back down though. Well, let's come over here, we'll get this beacon. And we'll come over here and we'll get this beacon. And then let's hit the log stack. Whoa, let's get a bice backflip off the log stack. Very cool, very cool. Nice little bicycle there too. And let's come over here to the backflip container. We'll get a backflip off the backflip container. Whoa, there we go. No, <laughs> no, no turtles, no turtles. Okay, good, save it. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now, let's come around over here. We'll get this backflip container and the beacon. No, no, there we go, there we go. Nice little slap wheelie. And a little bit of a bicycle. Nice, getting that beacon off there. And we'll come back down into a stoppy and a moonwalk back up onto the pod. Let's do some donuts on top of the pod, shall we? You don't usually see that because the pods in real life are a little bit smaller than the pods in this game. Whoa, nice little boat. Cyclone donut combo. And we'll come down off, off. Oh, off the tire side, the tire stack side. Whoa, one wheel to stoppy. I love it. We're going to get a nice little backflip off the tires. And we'll come back around this way. I think we've got all of the beacons. Very cool. Nice little slap wheelie. They didn't call it a slap wheelie, just a regular wheelie, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's come around over to the eight pack and see what we can do off of that, shall we? Here's the eight pack. Nice big air sky wheelie. We'll come down off onto the log, the big log. Whoop. There we go. Nice little moonwalk. Stoppy six times combo to end things. Yeah. Very cool run. Very cool run. A little extra donut for the fans. <laughs> All right, let's on, head on over to the moat and try a circuit race over there. Uh, boy, we've got some interesting competition. <laughs> we've got a monster mutt doppelganger. Looks just like me, but I'm the superior monster mutt, so I don't even know why he's trying. <laughs> See, I'm already ahead of him. That is really interesting. But there's a crustacean and a uh, sparkle smash. No, oh, no, no, no. Oh, come on, really? And I guess we'll see everybody here, won't we? Somehow the other monster mutt crashed as well, so now it's just it's me and him in the far back here. And there's one more person behind me. I'm not sure who it is. We're going to do an official length, though. I'm sorry, not an official, a uh, an ex uh, normal length. So we got three laps. And I don't like hitting that particular boost right there because it usually sends me into the berm right here and sends me flying off the edge. So I don't like that particular one. I just got to get out ahead of everybody else. Now, sometimes I like taking the left boost because it's kind of fun to jump over that hoop. I think I'll take that next lap. But for right now, what, Sparkle Smash, what did you do? <laughs> oh, man. That was kind of funny, actually. Watching Sparkle Smash just go, come right up next to me and then go flying. Man, Sparkle Smash has been having some a uh, hard time with this particular race. I guess I'm not doing so great myself. I'm still in fifth place. Oh, I always go flying into that rock. But that time I did all right. I did all right. Let's see if maybe we can kind of cut. Nope, not worth it. It's really not this this boost right here. It's just not worth it. Ah, that wasn't too bad. Come around over the berm. Let's go in the far left lane and I'll show you how to do this jump right here. It's not too hard. You just kind of go over into the far left lane, like I said. Oh, jump. No, no, I missed it. <laughs> Crash. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I'm just showing you guys how to do things because I'm the expert, right? <laughs> I like the moat. This is a fun um, track, a circuit race to do, but it is uh, it's definitely a little more on the difficult side. Uh, as you can tell by me and Sparkle Smash hanging out the far back here while everybody else is so far ahead. I don't know what's going on, why they are so far ahead. I think it's because I, I, I crashed a couple times and I guess they're just having a perfect race. Not like me. Oh, somebody got stuck. Who got stuck over there, I wonder? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we got it, nice. If you can if you can cut that corner and get that boost just right, it's kind of nice. Actually, it's kind of fun. Oh, whoa, whoa, got a little bit of lag spike there. All right, this time we're going to hit this boost. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. No. 
Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. We boosted way out ahead of Sparkle Smash. There's a, a lobster claw right there. That's it, huh? Yeah, okay, we got fourth place. That was a fun race. That was a fun race. <laughs> this part's just littered all over the road. All right, second verse, same as the first. This time, though, we're going to Salt Lake City 2 head-to-head. -head. We're going to go with the extended head-to-head uh, -head with, the, you know, five laps again. But it's going to be a big donut, just like the last one. So we've got to maintain our speed and our angle of attack so that we don't go flying off the track. First opponent is going to be Captain or Pirate's Curse. Pirate's Curse. Yar, har, har, har. And here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Perfect start. Har, yar. <laughs> yeah, it's, this one's a little bit different. It's a little bit more of an oval than uh, the first Salt Lake. The first Salt Lake is, is just a, a straight up circle. This one's got a little bit of an ellipse to it. Not much, but a little bit. It makes it a little bit easier, actually, because there is a little bit of that ellipse, so you can kind of kind of cut your angles a little bit. Whoa, no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, gosh, okay. I've got one more lap to fix that little error. That was a very minor error, but I do have one more lap to fix it. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, I got flung way too off the, far off the edge. And can I? No, I lost. Ah, let's restart. Let's restart, doggone it. Too busy yapping about how I can just cut the corners and it's not a big deal. Yarder, yarder, yarder. <sighs> All right, let's focus this time. Focus, Daniel, son. Focus. All right, here we go. Monster Mutt. Don't hit the crush cars. Lap one. I mean, the computer on hard draws these really tight, really beautiful circles, and I can't quite draw quite as close of a circle as they can. Right, but like I said, because of the ellipse, I can draw a little bit of a wider circle and it's not quite as difficult. <laughs> Speaking of drawing circles though, if you guys missed it, Friday night we did a Roblox live stream and we played Rostock, and I tell you what, <sighs> really? Why, why did you just flip up like that, my friend? Why? Monster Mutt, come on, you're killing me, Smalls. Three, two, one, let's go, good start. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this again. This time we're actually gonna do it, doggone it. All right, as I was saying though, Rostock was the most fun I think I've had playing any game in a very long time. That was a lot of fun, not just because I won, although that did help. <laughs> It was just a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to play that game. Uh, enough to where I'm actually considering buying a NASCAR game. If you guys are into NASCAR and have suggestions for for a NASCAR, what, what did I hit? What did I hit? Urgh. But yeah, if you guys have a suggestion for a NASCAR game, let me know in the comments while I reset my truck one more time. All right, this is it, win or lose, final try, perfect start, come on, let's go. Uh, I'm, I'm about done with Salt Lake. I'm definitely about done with the extent. I prefer the uh, official length where it's only one lap. The uh, This extended business is, is there's just too much room for error. I have to draw too many perfect circles and then whatever I hit, there's like a stone somebody threw. Really? <laughs> somebody threw a rock out of the middle of the road and made me flip. Uh. Well, let's finish the race and see how well Captain's Curse does, or Pirate's Curse does it, at the very least. Head-to-heads just are not in the cards for me today. Uh, but yeah, this is the last time I'm do doing the extended races for head-to-heads. Man, this is just too much. <laughs> All right, come on, here we go. Last little bit of this lap. And we're done. Oh, man. All right, Pirates Curse. Let's see. How did you do? You got eliminated the next round, didn't you? Oh, no. He made it to the final. He won. Pirates Curse won. Okay, so I was going against the champion there. He beat son of a digger of all people. Wow. All right. Time for some time destruction here in Salt Lake City. Come on. Let's do this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. This is Salt Lake City 2. I don't know if I said 2. Yeah, this is the second Salt Lake City. Come on! 
The first one is, is very, very similar. But yeah, the second Salt Lake City SLC is slightly different and they've got plenty of things to smash. I want to come back around this way. There we go. Good. Got it. Got it. Smash up all the boxes, the crush boxes. We'll come back onto the pod where there is plenty to smash up here too. No, I got 104 times combo, which was enough to put us into first place. I wish I could have kept it going though. I really, really do. Here we go. Smashing, smashing, smashing. Let's see how big of a combo I can get with my second set of smash em ups. Lots of dice blocks, lots of great shipping containers and a couple of zeppelins to boot. Oh, my time is up. I am going into overtime here. Brought to you by Kong versus, uh, no, what is it called? <laughs> Godzilla versus Kong, the new kingdom. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I tried. Wagner does it better than me, do. Me do? Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. All right, freestyle time. I think maybe those head to heads just really threw me for a loop. Come on, three, two, one, let's go. I'm in a better state of mind, though. I will be as soon as I'm done with this freestyle. Nice backflip, big air, sky wheelie. Got a couple of beacons in there, too. Let's get a backflip off the container. Very nice, very nice. Landed on a wheelie. Look at that. Oh, and I drug it all out. Whoa, and a little endo flip. Yes, and another wheelie. Wow, man, and a bicycle. Holy cow, what a combo. Listen, I got a six times combo is what the official combo was, but there were a lot more tricks I got in there than that. Holy cow, that was really awesome. All right, jump onto the pod. And we'll come on down over here. We'll grab this beacon. And we'll come over here and grab that beacon. And then we'll hit this big jump ramp one more time for a nice big air sky wheelie. Let's come around over here. We'll get a backflip off the container. Yeah, we tried to go for that moonwalk. Didn't quite work out. Almost got a little bit of a popper wheelie off of it. Did not work out there either. Hit the eight pack, but I didn't have the right angle. Almost got a cartwheel. Let's come around over this way and we'll pop up onto the pod. Nice. See, now I would have called that maybe a pogo, but I think, you know, Double B, he's been a huge supporter of the channel too. I love Double B from Africa. And he said, I, in order to get a pogo, I have to land on my front two wheels, which he, he's probably right. He's probably right. Let's see how I can actually do that. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Well, he, I think he said I have to land onto the pod. Uh, with my front two wheels. So let's try that. Let's try that from here. Whoop. And then come on down. Bump. No. Beacon. Big air. Slap wheelie. Stoppy. They didn't call any of that a pogo. So that wasn't it. Maybe I need to come this way. Nope. That's not a pogo either. It's just a stoppy. Interesting. So I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what I need to do. I wish they would count, instead of calling that a power out, I wish they would call that some sidewall donuts or something like that, because that's really what it is. There was a nice little donut cyclone combo, though. That was pretty cool. One more. Oh, I got that last beacon after into bonus time. It works for me, though. That was good, good freestyle. I like it. All right. Let's see. Let's, we're going we're gonna to finish up the episode by doing Desert Dust Up again. We're going to try to rematch all of those trucks one more time. And we're going to do better than we did last time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, an early start, but that's okay. All right. It's me and Husky. Oh, and Rottweiler. Oh, Northern Nightmare and Poodle. No, no, no. Uh, okay. We are neck and neck right now. I can't even see because Poodle is right in my way. Okay, slow it down. Come around the corner. We're going to come up over here. I'm going to jet right ahead of everybody else. Aha, I am the leader of the pack this time. Don't flip. Oof. And we're coming up into El Toro Loco's arena here. And Husky is out for blood, man. He is after me. No, Husky, no. Ha, all right, good. I got the outside track. He's got the inside, which is a little bit faster. But I think we can manage, we can salvage this here. Come on, come on, come on. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. He cut me off, but I cut him back off. 
he's right behind me, but he's got that drafting ability. You know, all these monster mutts have that drafting ability. Uh, where if they're behind somebody, they get a little bit of a speed boost, which is it's good. It's a good ability, especially for these outdoor races. I think we're going to take off to the side this time instead of going over the top of the dune. I think we have a little bit less of a chance of, of tipping over. Yes, there we go. Now we're in first and we didn't cut anybody off to do it either. All right, come on, come on. No, don't flip over on me. Nice. All right. All right. Doing good so far. And then let's come on to the right of the oasis over here but we're gonna to go to the left of this particular mountain coming around the side we're still out ahead of everybody else i love it okay coming in here by the garage and we gotta slow down make this turn nice perfectly well done well executed now we always want to turn sharp here to the left and come down don't fall come down this ramp because if we go down into the pit there's all kinds of debris and stuff down in there we don't want that Nice so far. Okay, now this little turn right here. This is the hardest turn. We got it though. Look at us go, man. We are cruising. Tyler, this is for you, my friend. You and your lost puppy. Uh, he is watching over us right now. Come on, we're gonna score first place this time. I know it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We've got the one more left. Last waypoint and we have been in first place the whole time we've been kicking butt now that's what i'm talking about <laughs> first place thanks guys for watching really do appreciate you see you on the flip side bye everybody